so consider this concentric general variance okay this is the outer diameter this is the inner diameter of this bearings so consider a full journal bearing and the space between the journal and bearing completely filled with the lubricating oils in this analysis <coughs> let wr is the radial load okay wr is the radial load nj general shaft of speeds c is the radial variance capital f is the frictional force okay this capital f is the frictional force radius of the journal radius of the bearings shear stress on the journal surface while capital e is the journal surface area in mm square and this area we have to be calculate 2 pi radius of the journal into length okay this means the absolute viscosity f is the coefficient of friction this is the journal surface velocity and p is the bearing pressure okay so this bearing pressure we have to be calculated from this okay this load upon area so wr upon 2 nj okay so this friction force resisting relative motion of the surfaces f is equal to tau into a stress into area from this newton <coughs> tau is equal to always mu is equal to mu into u v into upon h and putting this value the equation for this force becomes this mu u v upon h into area and therefore we can find out this frictional force f is equal to mu 2 pi rj into nj into 2 pi rj into l upon c clearance so we get we get this frictional torque as tf 4 pi square rj cube into nj l into mu upon c while the value of coefficient of friction small f is equal to this frictional force upon load so we can get is value of this coefficient of friction here and this equation for this frictional force we can rearrange again and we are getting finally f is equal to 2 pi square mu into nj upon p under the bracket rj by c okay so this bearing pressure is always p is equal to wr upon 2l rj okay so this equation shows or this equation is known as petrov equations okay so this equation always shows the coefficient of friction which is directly proportional to the journal speed and viscosity of the lubricants while the coefficient of friction is inversely proportional to the radial load and lastly this equation can be used to provide the quick solution for this frictional effect in this concentric journal bearings okay so under this analysis we have to be consider the viscosity of this lubricating oil converging or wedging action of the fields loads or moderate loads speed of rotations etc and while designing this bearings you have to be again l by d ratio bearing pressures radial clearance and minimum oil film thickness so this is for hydrodynamic bearings in this petrov we have to be consider this viscosity since the resistance to the relative motion arises from viscous resistance of the fluid and does the performance of the bearing is affected by the viscosity of the lubricants and this oil is assumed to be a coherent and then 
that is the cavitation does not diminish the viscosity of the oils. Secondly, the wedging action of the field, once the journal start to rotate, the field between this clearing space is dragged into the narrowing converging space. Okay. And building a dynamic pressure. Thus, the friction result from wedging actions. So, in this way, we can analyze this concentric bearing as well as hydrodynamic journal bearings. So this unit bearing pressure is always load per unit projected area of this bearings. So here we have to stop. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, yeah. No, so <laughs> I can't